Carlo Callahan says two of his police officers involved in the Josh Warnocky murder investigation should have known better. They made a series of judgment calls about the ability of suspects and witnesses to under understand the interview process, which were wrong and in my view reflected a lack of diligence rather than training. But both officers will keep their jobs and will instead face fines or demotions. The third officer is still under review. He could face criminal charges. 21-year-old Josh Warnicke's body was found on the side of a broom road in 2010. His attacker, Gene Gibson, originally faced a murder charge, but a judge ruled his police interview inadmissible because the Western Desert Aboriginal man didn't have an interpreter and wasn't cautioned. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter instead. We can't have people being slapped on the wrist for cold-blooded attack. In November, the Corruption and Crime Commission found the Warnakey case reflected systemic weaknesses in criminal investigations. This is a separate issue uh, around the ability of remote Aboriginal people to, uh, to understand the police interview process. The Commissioner says the situation can be improved by having a special unit to deal with witnesses and suspects in remote communities, as well as pre-recorded cautions in every Aboriginal language and on-demand interpreter services. One of my concerns here is that we don't just see a few junior officers all, uh, hung out to dry, whole matter brushed under the carpet. Jamie Freestone, 7 News.